joining us, everybody. Um, I am doing a bit of a live stream today. It'll probably be only about half hour or 40 minutes or so because I'm going on an adventure with uh, Charlie. We're going to go pick up a car. At least that's the plan anyway. Um, somebody called me up and told me, hey, guess what? Free car. Um, so uh, it's in the woods. We're going to try and dig it out and see what it is. Um, I am going to uh, flip the camera around now and get us uh, in position here so that we can watch the live stream. Now, these are items from both Madame Rack's estate as well as from uh, our adventures. So let's uh, get the live stream going here and see how Anything things go. No, oh, there we go. First thing up, there we go. This auction will be running until um, late tonight. And for those of you that were asking, uh, somebody just said, I thought the Madame Rack stuff was all done. Well, there was all the items from the, uh, from the vault. And so the person uh, who, uh, Vince, who uh, is the one who uh, inherited everything is putting through a bunch of stuff through this sale as well. Uh, we had some items that we were keeping for ourselves that we put through. There would be lots of stuff going through today. So let's watch for about 30 minutes or so and see how stuff goes at the auction. This is a copper wash basin. Probably copper value for scrap has got to be up there on these things, but they're uh, really nice. You can use them for putting logs in by your fireplace. It gives a nice rustic look. This one will go for a little bit more because it has a lid on it. Or it should go for a little bit more because it's got the lid. Maybe it'll go for about exactly the same. Who's to say? No, it went for about the same price. Now this should be, these can go usually around 900 to 1,000 bucks or so. If it goes for 325, that is way too cheap for a, uh, for an antique lawyer stacking bookcase. Oh, there we go. It's got to go up more. I got this uh, when I went out and got the uh, Simpsons arcade game at the same time. The lady I bought it from paid, I think, $500 for it decades ago. That's very cheap for a uh, Barrister's bookcase. But it's a big piece. You got to be local. You got to have a local person on. I should have kept it for that purse. Yep. That one was a bummer. But, you know, there's always some stuff in here that makes up for it. Like this uh, gum operated uh, or nut machine. I think I only paid like 30, 40 bucks for it. So. We're making money on this one. Uh, adjust that screen a little bit. Going to adjust that. Sorry, guys. Trying to get us a better view here. Uh, lot number 2014. On the old piano uh, stool, antique clawfoot, uh, 45, 50, uh, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, Thanks, April, for the super chat. This stool, um, it needs the little screw that holds it onto the base, but it does have all the claw feet and everything, so still a cool piece. Good morning, my friend Bill, and good morning, Diecast Dave. Patricia George, I saw you were on there. Sold $60, $59.48. Uh, lot number 15 on the Vintage Japan Kawai uh, Acoustic Guitar, $120, $130. Uh, $120, $130, $130, $120, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30, $30,
September 2016 on the marble, a uh, small marble side table. Uh, 25, 30, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, I got 25, 30, 25, 30, give me 30, give me 30, give me 30, 25, 30, give me 30, give me 30, 30, 30. Oh, I see somebody on here just bought the guitar, they said. Congratulations. I have no idea what shipping is going to be to New York City for a guitar. 25, 30, give me 30, give me 30, give me 30, 25, 30. Sold 25. 25 bucks is cheap for a 10 speed. This is kind of a cool lamp, actually. Very mid-century kind of look with that big bulbous brass ball in there. Kind of a neat thing. It's a nice little brass bird cage, and it's got a uh, stuffed bird. On the stand, I got 70, 80, uh, 70, 80, got be 80, got be 80, 70, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Sold sixty dollars, sixty four, twenty nine. Here's another pair. Lot number twenty one. Uh twenty, twenty five, 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 twenty five. Uh twenty, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. Twenty five, 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 Lot number 22 on the 1950s. This is a quite a big set. The bullfighter's in good shape. I see the horn has uh, come across a little bit of damage here. You see that. But these things are massive. $20, now this darn thing should be like 400 bucks if you believe it. Ash from Evil Dead, it's artist made, airbrushed and all that stuff. To a collector that would be a really expensive thing. 25 bucks is a, is a real deal on that. And it's big, it's like a foot tall too, it's like a 12 inch tall thing. Bruce Campbell. Of all the horror movie genres, it was cheesy and, and funny at the same time. Lot number 24. Uh, who's got seven and a half? Uh, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half. This is for displaying your action figures on. Five bucks. Who's got two and a half? Oh, just pass it. At, at two and a half, two dollars and fifty cents for a big statue like that, may as well just pass it. Oh, there we go. So when it sells for less than five dollars, that means I don't get anything for it. Uh, no. Uh, it's for two and a half, five, uh, two and a half, five, me, five, me, five, me, five, two and a half, 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 five, there, uh, you have to pay very close attention to the lot. There's no shipping on this lot. So yeah, please pay very it's close attention because it's quite large. To the description because it says to zoom my screen out. whether we can ship it or not. And there's no shipping on this one. 
Well, we got oh, there we go. Somebody, somebody in Alberta. There we go. Well, that was a good reminder on the really big stuff. Um, Castor, I just had a question online. Castor promotes um, online through Facebook and other social media apps as well for their ads. They also have a pretty good database of their regular bidders. Um, but we try and promote the sales that we do just so that we get a little bit of extra interest in them. That's a beautiful little radio. Twenty bucks is darn cheap for that. Yep, that was. You know, sometimes this stuff does better in a farm auction. You put it through. See, 110 bucks. I'm happy with this. The old Tonka stuff is really reliable. Your kids can play with it. You can collect it. Lots of reasons why somebody would want to buy old Tonka stuff. That is pretty cool. I always liked that as a Tonka vehicle. Made me want to buy a Winnebago, a Winnebago, or go camping. There it goes. There's a Chatty Cathy coming up. I'll be curious to see what that sells for. Playground, playground on the beach there. Uh, lot number 28, we got 25, 30. Uh, 25, 30, give me 30 on the case of assorted toy cars. 25, 30, give me 30. Give me 30, give me 30. Give me 30, give me 30. Give me 30, 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 Assuming nobody did anything at the auction, but she she does work. Hi, Kathy Cash. Good to see you. Oh, 80 bucks. It's another big doll, but 1950s. She's got opening and closing eyes. So if you went to a yard sale and saw that for 10 bucks, somebody would scoop it up, I'm sure. Barbie clothes, yeah. Probably a lot of homemade stuff in this batch. Hi, Johnny Five. Oh, that's uh, Chesney Lewis says that she won the Ash Evil Dead figure. It's really cool. Like I'm, I'm not kidding. I think you, you got it for like twenty bucks or something. The guy I bought that figure from, I think he spent about four hundred dollars or more getting it custom painted. Ten dollar bids after fifty dollars, sixty, seventy, fifty, seventy, 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 seventy. This is probably a lot of Ken stuff in this lot. See, but you never know. Look, a bunch of uh, vintage accessories like this, seventy bucks for a little bag of stuff. That's why it's good to break lots out every so often. $70, there we go. So now we've got some of the cameras going up. I had so many cameras left over from that big giant. I filled that whole ambulance up with cameras last year. And I'm still selling cameras off. But everybody likes a camera, so I'm sure we'll sell a bunch of them. These pack sets are nice. They've got a nice little brown leather case. Nicely made. 
gotta be ten seven nine ten seven nine. So in the store, that would be about seventy dollars or so. There we go. It's gonna have gone up a little bit. But see, uh, some things go for more, like the Barbie clothes lot. Some things go for less, like the cameras. But I also sort of flooded my own market by putting a whole pile of cameras up. Oh, these Canon AE ones are um, good, good cameras. But this should be about a hundred dollar camera normally. Let's see what it goes for. But it's missing the battery cover, so that does affect the value. Ah, uh, what's that about? Uh, line number 36, 20, 25, uh, 20, 25, 25, 25, 20 minute mile, 25, 20 minute mile, 25, 25, uh, 20, 25, 25, 20 minute mile, 25, 25, 25, 20 minute mile, 25, uh, Clementine is saying, has anybody totaled the value so far? It doesn't matter in this case because it's, um, the, the cars are not mine. The majority of the jewelry is not mine. It doesn't matter what the total is. It's, uh, it's, there's several people selling items. Uh, all the antiques and stuff and some of the jewelry is mine. Yeah, you can still buy film for these. Holly is just uh, asking if you can buy film. Yeah, of course, you can buy 35 millimeter film. And you can still get it developed. We have places in town that will develop where you can mail it out. Uh, we have a lot of young people in their teens and 20s buying these cameras and shooting film with it. it it's had a resurgence, kind of like records. Film cameras are a good collectible right now. Uh, Sandra asks if the auction house takes a proceed of the sales. Yes. Um, Auctions take anywhere from, depending upon what it is, you get a smaller commission charged when you uh, are selling something big like a vehicle. But uh, it goes up depending upon what you're putting through. So an auction house might be anywhere between 15 and 50, five zero percent, depending upon what you're consigning and what the item is. <coughs> We generally land somewhere in the middle there. Sold, $15, 62, 27. Uh, lot number 40. We have got a minnow, uh, Minox. Uh, Minox. Miniature 35mm. Uh, Sunnyside 1000 says, uh, update on the rolls. It's in my garage. I should probably drive it at some point again. It's, it's been about a week or two since I've had it out. I've just been so busy. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we got a regular sale tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock sharp. But it's still down there. We got a China uh, 35 millimeter camera with zoom lens. I got 35, 40. That's a heck of a zoom lens on that camera. I actually think this is this might be one that I found in Madame Rack's place. There was a couple of these, and that I think that one came out of her place. Oh, we got some bids coming in. I just remember that giant lens on that. So $50, Lots of cameras up right now. Look at all the cameras. Oh, and then it gets into some estate lot of Madame Rack jewelry. Coming up right away here, there's all these estate lots of jewelry. When we first got her stuff and we didn't know we were finding anything good. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that down for a sec. Oh, I'm just gonna turn him down for a second. So when you see all these estate lots coming up here, Melissa and I first started putting jewelry out. We didn't know what we had. We put everything out at like 10 or 15 bucks. Um, and then we kind of set it aside once we started finding good stuff. Recently, I just took handfuls of it and I put it through the sale. So that is Madame Rack's jewelry, but it's probably more just decorative and shells and things like that, beads. 
still, it is it is her stuff and uh, it's going cheap. So you might be able to get some interesting stuff. And for somebody like Matthew out there, and Matthew, hello, uh, you could probably take those beads and restring them and do something creative with them. Let's get back to the auction. Hey, Chris Dot, congrats on the uh, camera win. Sold 25, 64, 53. Uh, lot number 44 on the Maya. 35 Mamiya 35mm DTL. So if somebody wanted a 35mm camera, this would be a good auction to get, to get one from because they're going for very fair prices. I mean, for me, it, it, it gets a little bit of money back in the bank, but it also helps clean the store up. And having a clean store makes a big difference too. 45 on a Mamiya 35 mil. Uh, uh, he says it like papaya. Two dollars and fifty cents for a camera. That's like a giveaway price. I uh, see at this point still, I'm actually just giving this camera away for free. The auction takes the entire amount if it's five dollars or under. Yep. So. Uh, Sixty four ninety three oh, buyer. Don't yeah. forget, ladies and gentlemen, we got that Model T uh, coming up in about an hour, and that uh, beautiful Mercedes. I saw the Model T in person, actually. It was uh, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, somebody's asking if I'm going to keep the station wagon. The old uh, station wagon that's on the by the front of the store right now. No, it'll it'll go. It'll it'll be for sale. I I didn't have the truck when I bought it and uh, decided to go with the truck instead. Luke Cat uh, asked me a question. Thank you for the super chat. She, they said, do you still keep uh, track of the dismantled cord you looked at a year ago? I really want to see you get your hands on that. Yeah, I've been keeping track on it, but haven't been able to come to a price with a guy on it yet. So far, he was asking basically restored price for a project car. Like he wanted 50 or 60 grand for it. And yes, it was a supercharged cord, but you can still buy it a nice cord for 60, 70 grand. So it's going to cost that much to restore it. So it should be somewhere around 10 or 15 as a project and you'd still lose money on it, but it'd be nice to save it. Josh Pitts, I have no idea what software they're using. It's BidLive um, software, I believe. Well, I jumped up in a hurry. People wait until the last minute to bid. So if you wait too long, though, you lose it. Because as soon as he says sold, that's it. Somebody right now is waiting to click a button and they're not going to do it. Yeah, they missed it. I think this is a special Olympic edition too. This should, in the store, this would sell well for about $100. Here, apparently 10 bucks. It's going up a little bit though, but auctions are like this. I did put an awful lot of cameras through. So you're getting lots of good deals at the auction today. So if you've not logged on yet, you can get on right now. Kauctions.ca. Look for the uh, Madam Rack uh, vault opening sale. I can't remember exactly how they uh, how they had it listed, but uh, this sale will be running uh, probably until about 6 or 7 p.m. today. And there's a lot of jewelry coming up. A lot of jewelry coming up. Always seems to be interested in 8mm movie cameras. For a while there, they were kind of dead. But now they're coming back a little bit. 50 bucks. 
two going to Bloomington, Indiana. Line number 52, we got an estate jewelry box with Barry Adams. I got three and a quarter, three and a half. Uh, three and a quarter, three and a half, but I'm not three and a quarter, three and a half. Uh, three and a quarter, three and a half, but I'm not three and a quarter, three and a half, but I'm not three fifty. Uh, three and a quarter, three and a half, but I'm not three and a quarter, three and a half. Uh, three and a quarter, three and a half, but I'm not three and a quarter, three and a half, but I'm not three and a quarter. Now, I'd be curious to see what the projector goes for. I guess somebody really wanted to sort through a jewelry box. Sold three and a quarter, sixty twenty six. Dizzy Bird asks if I sold the Potter's House yet. No, I have not. It is still for sale. Projector with case 12 and a half, 15. 12 and a half, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, a couple more locks and we start getting into some of the uh, Madam Rack stuff. So thirty dollars sixty four twenty nine. Lot number fifty four and a camera uh, sorted camera lenses and accessories. Twenty twenty five. Uh, twenty twenty five 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 twenty five. That's a good deal. That's a lot of filters and lenses. And even a little wood box for twenty bucks. That's a bargain. If somebody was a reseller locally, that'd be a good thing to pick up. Or anywhere. There it goes. There's another a lot of assorted camera stuff. Oh, the, the jewelry box is sold. I think that did come from Adam Rack. It's just assorted various jewelry that was in there. <laughs> Somebody said, if you crush your goals, get a monster truck with Curiosity, Curiosity Inc. down the side. Uh, we've got a house to pay to pay for. I am extremely motivated just to try and sell as much as possible in the next little while. We've done three or four previous sales on that uh, all that vintage jewelry that she had. And here's some more. Uh, lot number 56. Yeah, it's just a big... Uh, 20, 20, she probably, I imagine she picked this up when she was in Hawaii. That's the sort of stuff you see for sale out there on the beaches and stuff. Lots of shells and... Be a fair amount of these little assortments of jewelry are quite there's a lot of it I mean that's the, a, not a great picture because it's all clumped together but that's got to be probably 15 20 necklaces or something like but like I said this would be cool if you wanted to um, repurpose this jewelry into something else either wear it as is or use the beads make some some amazing artwork with it rally north carolina on right now so far it's going to rally is it raleigh or rally maybe somebody can tell me somebody's got to beat out north carolina barbara's getting all the good stuff Oh, that, that last piece looked like it had amber in it, but off it goes. Kenosha, Wisconsin. Well, it's between Ohio and Wisconsin. It's a battle. Deb said, see you later, Kenosha. I'm winning this lot. Ohio wins.
Lot number 60, 7 out of 10. Uh, 7 out of 10, got to be 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 12 out of 10, 12 out of 10. A lot of nice shells in there. 10, 12 out of 10, 12 out of 10, 12 out of 10, 12 out of Interesting sort of cut round beads. Oh, Deb Brown, she says, woohoo, that was me. <laughs> Congratulations. Lot number 61, uh, and when you do buy multiple lots at an auction like this, they try and put them all together in one box so that you just pay the shipping on the one box. They don't ship everything separately. It's not like eBay in that sense. You can actually buy a whole bunch of different stuff. They'll all pack it in one box and ship it all at the same time. So it brings the overall cost of shipping down when you do that too. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's a... Uh, Ab abalone shell or mother of pearl kind of i don't know what that is it's a nice bracelet though there's one of those coin coin neck bracelets in there too Number 62, we got 15, 20, no buy. Uh, 20, 25, 25, 25, 20, minimize, 25, 20, minimize, 25, 20, minimize, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, all just sitting around the store and I wanted to clean up. If you guys know anything about me is that I sit on stuff for a while and then out it goes. On to the next thing. I never ever want to be one of these antique stores that has the same stuff sitting around forever. Unless it's Zoltar, he can stick around for a while. I think so. When they did the street scene. Lot number 63, 2025. A lot of nice beads in this lot. Either that or it was where George Lucas grew up cruising the streets. 25, 30. Yeah, Deb is right. There's a lot of nice costume jewelry. I think we're on kind of the, the last lot. A big lot of uh, shell jewelry and... Fifty bucks. This is one of the last clump lots. There's a lot of the the more expensive stuff. So sixty dollars, sixty-five, seventeen, going to Black Falls, Alberta. Lot number sixty-five, thirty, thirty-five on the German uh, Luftwaffe paratrooper. Uh, 30, Sold $30.64.19. This poor 50-second airborne figure. His head's in there, but it's come off. Poor guy. Lost his head. Actually, the reason we put this through, even with a broken head, is that somebody would repurpose that outfit. It's got a really good little outfit on there. Confederate soldier. Confederate soldier. 30, Probably not something that G.I. Joe is going to do anytime soon again, that's for sure. Confederate soldier with the Confederate flag. Probably not going to see that. There you go. And then there's a Union soldier. I remember seeing pictures of the Confederates and Unions, Union soldiers well after the war was done that had become friends and got over their issues. And Next up, there's a um, Honer accordion coming up.
These things can be extremely expensive. I'm talking like five, six hundred dollars or more. Some of them go over twelve hundred bucks. So for ninety dollars, this person in Ontario is getting one heck of a deal, especially with the original case. They're gonna be very happy with that. Yep. Oh, there you go. Oh, we got a hundred bucks. Ooh, I almost lost it for 90 bucks. I mean, even so, a hundred is a bargain on this. They're expensive instruments. Yep, somebody did well with that. Lot number 70. Uh, seven out of ten, seven out of ten on the Asian bus, seven out of ten, seven out of ten. Oh, it's a mid-century kind of statue. It'd be cool decor if you had uh, the right kind of theme in your house. So, ten dollars heading for Sarnia, Ontario. Mid-century modern Ooh, lamp, cool looking piece. I love these old mid-century lamps. I just think they're so cool. They always have really neat designs. Especially uh, the, the teak style lamps are really cool too. So, $20, this one's kind of funny. I imagine they probably had some kind of little critter inside of this. Those are little air holes. So somebody was using, using the coffee can for probably carrying a frog or a bird or who knows what they had in there. Oh, Patricia George, thank you so much and have a wonderful morning. Thanks for watching the uh, live feed so far, Patricia. Or bait, yeah, so he said worms for fishing. Big brass Egyptian statue, but yeah, 14 inches tall, it's a big one. That is about Egyptian decor. Is it's very kind of 1920s Art Deco inspired kind of feeling, but it also makes it look like you have relics around your house when people come over you're like wow he's got an egyptian statue this is a funky lamp so we'll probably stay on, we're going to stay on until the uh, Lego, I think, lot 2080, so another five lots or so. I have to get ready to go um, to go pick up a, a mystery car, a free car. I'll do a video on it. So when you see the video about the free car, you'll know that's what I, I don't even know what I'm going to go deal with right now, but that's where I'm headed after this. So $15.6221, lot number 76. Unopened Rabbit. Roger Rabbit trading cards. You guys remember that movie? Sapphire Blue says another car, LOL. I didn't need another car at all. Somebody had one out at their lake lot and they said, listen, if you can come get this thing, you can have it. So I'm going to go look at it, but I'm going to go prepared with the trailer and see what we got there. They said it's a 60s car. And it's been in the family since brand new. I, I used to really like the Dick Tracy toys, at least anyway, when I was a kid. Because all, all of the uh, vehicles used in that movie were old, really brightly colored 1930s cars. 
Oh, here's the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde formula set. And this is life size. This is full size. And it's got a COA by the artist. Um, we put through about another 100 items of jewelry that are ours. Of higher end jewelry. Not ours. Well, it was Betty Jones, but it was stuff that we owned. Uh, just stuff that we didn't put through the last sale. And then uh, Vincent put through, I think, about 300 lots. So most of it's his, There's, but there's another lot of uh, stuff that's ours too. But uh, Vincent's using his money to fix up Betty Jones' house, and we're using our money from the sale to put towards paying off our new house. So both going towards construction, which feeds jobs in the area. Contractors gets us a nice home down the road, gets him a nicer home. At least it's all going to productive causes. This is an actual 1960s set, this train. I never, somebody said, why don't you have as strong of a Canadian accent as the auctioneer? Could be from different parts of Canada, I suppose. I think he's from Ontario. Also, my family was from the United States about 100 years ago. So I'm sure that certain dialects were picked up and passed along through my dad and grandpa to me that were carried over from America or from the United States and, and then here. I'm sure there's certain things I say that sound very Canadian. Oh, system. Yeah, sometimes there's a little... That's the problem with auctions like this. They're doing a th like thousands of items a day. These dolls that are coming up right now came in the... They came in the trunk of my uh, meteor when I bought it. And they said that uh, they bought them at a car show and the lady had actually decorated them and made them all special to go to... And they used to bring it with the car show. Yeah, a tiny little poodle skirt. Okay, I'm going to flip this around now. You guys will have to look at my mug for a second here while these things all end up going. Oh, hey, there I am. Uh, so this auction still has a ways to go, and actually a lot of the really good stuff is still yet to come. There are pocket watches that we've brought through. There's a solid gold pocket watch, in fact, that's going through. There's a ton of jewelry. There's diamonds. There's gold. There's all kinds of things that are going through the sale. So um, you can log on to kauctions.ca. Um, you can uh, bid and still win stuff. This is live happening right now, October 2nd. It's 10.46 a.m., my local time here, mountain time. So you still have lots of time to log in and go check it out. So make sure to follow the auction. Um, lots of great stuff. And for all, these, all of you that are bidding and bidding on stuff, I hope that you win a lot of great stuff. In fact, um, if you're on my Facebook page, uh, which is just Curiosity Inc. as well. If you're on my Facebook page, um, you should uh, post a picture to it. I'd love to see what you guys got. Maybe I'll put a little post up right now and I'll just say, post a, a screenshot of what you've won. I'd love to see what you guys are winning and what you love out there and what you collect. So have a wonderful night, guys. Uh, I'm off on an adventure with Charlie right away here. We'll see you all soon. And as always, bye for now.